Hello. If you struggle with seating position or geometry, maybe I can help. The third and final video in this series covers steering wheel position. So let's cut the foreplay, grab the wheel, and put the angle in your dangle. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. With seat and pedal position set, we can now move on to the final step. You may have heard the phrase, dance the wheel. The ability to do this, or be in tune with it, relates to the mindset of muscle tension used throughout this series. For lack of a better term, this technique is actually a sense or instinct. In drag racing, they say on a good pass, the car drives itself. Your hands are on the wheel. You are in control. However, they are just there to make subtle corrections when required, while the car progresses on its own natural course driven by our feet. With a proper grip, and wheel in the right location. This instinct naturally develops as you get to know the car and track. So let's move on and cover more principles as you make adjustments. We only have three adjustments to work with, height, angle, and distance. A few less in pedals, so this should be easier. The same mindset of just enough is very much the same. Just enough tension and just enough force to be effective. Unfortunately, the three available adjustments all work in tandem and may require tweaking each one as you dial them in. As an example, increasing your wheel angle will pull your arms farther away as you reach to go past 12 o'clock. The effect is the same if you lower the wheel. The main goal is having the wheel just resting in your hands while your shoulders are relaxed and your arms and wrists are at comfortable, effective positions. If you are building a GT position, I would start with a wheel angle of 10 degrees. This will get you close as you dial things in and you can work from there. Higher wheel heights require less angle. Lower wheel heights require more. The height and distance of your wheel dictates the position of your shoulders at idle position or 9 and 3. They should be at rest and just resting against the back of your seat. This position allows quicker reflexes and more subtle arm movement. Steering wheel distance can be subjective. Some prefer a closer wheel some prefer farther. However, guidelines hold the same. Just enough to be effective and hold proper muscle tension. The common rule of a 90 degree arm angle and wrist just bent over the wheels are the starting point. To fine tune this, we must look further. The adjustment works in tandem with wheel angle to develop proper geometry for your wrist and may require distance or height tweaks once you go further. Between height and angle, the goal is to find a balance between keeping your wrist as straight as possible throughout travel and to not lift your shoulders or extend your arms too far. Ideally, when you crisscross applesauce, you need clearance between your knee, hand, and midsection, or in my case, middle-aged spread. Within reason though, the tighter you keep everything to your body, the more effective your muscle will operate, like a demon cobra ready to strike. As the wheel starts to get close to your ideal position, the last step is crucial to avoid wrist strain. Instinctively, some drive with a firm grip, but this is not how a race car is driven. You should use the palms of your hand to control the vehicle, while your fingers and grip are there to catch or correct if needed. This is dancing the wheel. All of these adjustments define the point and resting force your palms put on the wheel so you can effectively drive comfortably, not causing injury, and sense what the car is doing. Once you have adjusted all of your gear, take a break. Give it a day or two. Then drive and take notes once again. Let it sit for a week. Don't touch anything. Just drive. As your body adapts, you may notice you need a change. Luckily, you are very close and the change won't be drastic. That completes the steps and mindset I used to develop this position. It's easy to see how a logical approach based on our natural geometry using a philosophy about muscle tension can enhance your experience. To reference Buddha and the string again, driving a car in the limit or quickly is very much like playing an instrument, but we are conducting a symphony of horsepower and physics teetering on the line of grip. To ride this line, we need control. We need to be in the center, relaxed and ready to react. We need to feel the rubber slip to the other side of this line and then when it tries to pull us back. That window between those two points is the limit. Thank you for watching. As always, questions are welcome. 
And per my last email, my name is Kevin, and I am Sense of Speed.